hey guys welcome to my youtube channel you're watching a tech talks with ted video and i'm ted bangkong in this video we are going to be reviewing the google pixel 3a which was originally re released in 2018 by google so this is a very interesting phone it has a very nice design which i feel is nice i don't know most people don't like it but it's actually a very good design google pixel 3a good um, glass in front the back plastic frame on the whole body aside dragon tail on the front the back is plastic but it has a matte finish and if the frame is plastic you see that the screen isn't so wide 5.6 inches like the whole screen is 5.6 inches diagonally so that's the matte finish i was just talking i just pointed out now and if you go to the front we have a side dragon tail glass which is actually good it gives the glass good reinforcement that makes it strong so you can be assured that it won't falls won't affect it i said this is a 5.6 inch screen the panel on this phone is very good oled panel it brings out good colors display is great and everything like that so like i said the display here is is an oled panel like i said oled panel it has three color modes i'll go into that right now display modes are very great it has natural boosted and adaptive so when i open it you'll see what i mean here natural gives us more natural colors like i said this is natural natural colors if you notice the change boosted just amplified it to be the, an adaptive increase the saturation to the highest i'm using adaptive because i like i like my po colors popping so let's go back to the home screen if you notice this uses android 11 it's going to get android 12 too android 11 came with a lot of new features just improved on those of android 10 already so the good thing about this phone is the power the software has google optimized this phone for speed software operates well now this is our power menu it's a big change from what we had in android 10 if you look at this now we have two sections the part that has the main control which is the power the restart and the image so if you notice you tap the power you have the power of and the restart there's the emergency information google did very well here you can keep your emergency information here so whenever you're an emergency people can see the basic information like they need like blood type your contacts blood group and all that this is very useful so this is are some features that i feel are important we'll go back to the power menu just in a bit but see you can see this control center looks good now go back to the power menu this will added actually downloaded an app that i used to add these things you can see down here i downloaded an app for that i will show you how to do that so the customize the the fact that we are able to customize it this much is actually good android 11 we have reduced like the whole control center to half of the screen instead of occupying the whole screen it actually looks great now i will show you something with music they have embedded the music player into the control center so let me play a song for you it's loading up right now i'm going to play a song and you see that it's actually inside the control center not outside like before so it's a very clean design you feel the ui more unlike android that used to be very boring now look at this it has a border radius on every side it looks good this is actually a good design i like this design i feel better using an android phone now so if you look at this i'll show you i will rotate the screen another thing is this came with home screen rotation so you can rotate the whole home screen to landscape mode now look at this this looks very clean now it floats the whole control center to the left and the music player to the right it is a nice design material design so let's look at if you bring the control center down you see that the controls everything just looks perfect modern design this is a very nice design this theme i use here another thing you can change the theme of the control center so you can change the colors you can change the shape of the icons and everything like that i'll make a video on how to do all that so i'm going to change this from landscape mode because i don't like landscape it's actually a good thing because there are people that use their phone in landscape mode so for instance you're watching a youtube video now and you want to chat with other people you don't want to just be changing orientation so you leave it that way so i'm removing mine from landscape now or uh, i just leave it on portrait now it also comes with new features accessibility features and everything like that i'll show you how to activate that in a moment so let's just jump right into our settings if you go to navigation we'll check for the navigation now this has three navigation options like i said navigation navigation just came with this so it has the normal button the three button the two button and the gesture navigation now gesture navigation is new relatively new the three button navigation for those of you that like your back your home button and your recent button yeah sure then we have two button navigation that has a main like a home button a back button and your accessibility menu on the right this is actually cool but i, I haven't gotten used to it 
it's kind of hard to use i think gesture navigation is cool even though it looks like something else copied from the iphone but it's still a cool feature to have and it makes navigating through the phone easier switching through tabs and your recent apps is easier with navigation you just have to slide down on that button there so that's actually a cool feature android did well google is actually working like i said this phone is fast 4 gigs of ram 64 gigs of rom i think it comes in 128 i'm not sure about 256 or so but it's actually a fast phone now look at that how i took that screenshot over here i from the recent tab i saw the screenshot now we have an option called select where you can look at the things in a picture and actually take out text from that picture whatever you have there so that's actually a nice option most times you want to grab text from something and you have to type it out this one you can just select it from that nice feature android 11 is doing well i can't wait for android 12 with these updates that i'm seeing android 12 is actually meant to be better than what we see on android 11 so nice one google now i recommend this phone for anybody to buy google has done well with this phone it's a 2018 phone but it's actually performing well it's holding it up very very well now we're back if you look at this we're going back into our settings to check out our new settings so accessibility you're going to activate the accessibility menu you will see something now when i try to do this privacy options are back here if you see it has it asked for permission to do almost everything if you're using some apps to show you okay give permission while only using the app only this time so google and apple actually are basically doing the same thing now they're going for privacy 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 your app shouldn't have as much information about you only just what you want your apps to know so that's cool the accessibility menu i just enabled it use two fingers from the bottom you swipe up and you bring out your accessibility menu i don't think i really remember this but it's a nice feature it's actually a nice feature now into the camera just like the name of this phone goes the google pixel the google pixel camera is a very great camera the only camera that i have seen that performs up to the apple camera or even performs better it brings out great photos video quality isn't the best on this phone camera but the camera is actually great so if you are somebody like an instagram influencer or anybody that uses your camera a lot this phone is going to save you optimization is great camera is great altogether it's a great phone if i give it an over 10 rating i'll probably rate this camera and the phone maybe a 7 over 10 or 7.5 over 10 so like i said the video quality isn't that great video is we have video in 1080p and 4k full hd which is 1080p shoots at 30 and 60 frames per second now 4k shoots at only 30 so go back to full hd like i said it's not a bad camera at all video quality isn't just great but you can't compare it to any other android camera it's obviously the best that the top at the league is just on top it holds the space and it can't do anything now night shift night shift is what google has used to taunt apple for a very long time night shift produces great images at night i don't know how the google does it but it just brings it out so like i said this is just for sharing images once you take a picture you can share it through this it just pops up google did well with this one so i don't know i've been singing google's praises too much but the phone is just too good and you can't avoid that so thanks for watching this video if you want to download this wallpaper i use here i'll link it down in the description also the power menu options i'll link it down you just watched a tech talks with ted video make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching